Hello everyone, this is Sayyad Sagheer Ahmad. In this video, we will see funny mnemonics or tricks to remember the classification of anti-epileptic drugs. These tricks are helpful to remember complete classification without any confusion. Try to practice these mnemonics while memorizing the classification. So, let's get started. Anti-epileptic drugs Epilepsy is also known as convulsions, seizures or in common talk we can say fits. This epilepsy or convulsions usually occurs due to the disturbances of electrical signaling in the brain. Now with this background information you remember this tricky sentence before death his brain paralyzed and convulsions noted. While writing anti-epileptic drugs classification, remember this sentence, before death his brain paralyzed and convulsions noted. And B4, barbiturate, example phenobarbitone, D4, deoxybarbiturate, example is Primidone, H4, Hadantoin, example is Phenytoin, C, ends with T-O-I-N, Hadantoin, Phenytoin, I4, Immunostilbin, example Carbamazepine, Immunostilbin, Carbamazepine, I, after I, S4, Succinimide, ethosuximide, succinimide, ethosuximide ends with mite, M I D. Then B stand for benzodiazepine, example is clonazepam, diazepam, etc. P4, phenyltrazin, example is lamotrigine. Phenyltrazin, Lamotrigin. A for aliphatic carboxylic acid. Example, Valproic acid. C, cyclic GABA analog GABA. Example is GABA pentin. And Prigabalin. Finally, N for newer drugs. Example is Vigabatrin and topiramate etc. If you like this video then please subscribe and share. Thank you.